Welcome everybody. We'll be going live in just a couple of minutes. Get your beverage, your cold beverage, a little popcorn, and Jamie and I will be back uh, with you at seven o'clock sharp to get the party rolling. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Heidi Kaizen at Hen and Chick Studio in Conrad, Iowa. We are so glad that you are with us this evening for Hen House Happy Hour, our product showcase. Jamie is with me tonight, and she and I are gonna be going back and forth uh, with a lot of great product. We're so excited to be showing you brand new store samples tonight that have never been seen before. In fact, I drove this afternoon over to Stephanie's house to pick up some of those store samples so they would be fresh and, and brand new for you this evening. So we're so glad um, that you're here. We love that when you comment, uh, I know already people were saying where you're from. Tell us, where are you watching from tonight? We'd love to know. I saw real quick that our friend Suzanne in Canada is with us. And I'll bet you we've got people from coast to coast. And we love that. We love sharing the excitement and the inspiration here at Hen and Chick Studio, well outside of our um, little community of Conrad. For those of you who don't know, Conrad's about 1,100 people. It is a farming um, community. Uh, definitely, uh, we're surrounded by what they say is the best black dirt in Iowa. And in fact, we celebrate Black Dirt Days in June. That's how important that dirt is um, to our local economy and to all of the farmers. And as I was out and about on this gorgeous day, boy, um, our farmers are going um, fast and furious. So I always say a prayer that um, everything goes well for them and they have a, um, a good uh, spring planting season, but also a safe season. Um, there's so much uh, equipment and stuff. So, but one of the quilts that we wanted to start with is this beautiful quilt right here. Last time we showed you a couple of blocks of City Girl Chevron. Um, the pattern is by Krista Mosier and uh, it really is strip piecing and uses, let's see, Jamie, which ruler is it? This is, this is the six degree diamond ruler. And Jamie just showed a couple of the blocks. Well, she's been busy since then and she got the entire quilt done. So we've got it draped here um, for you to see. I'm gonna just carefully undo this a little bit and kind of hold it up. Jamie, you wanna come help? Let's look at that just a little bit closer for everybody. 
Uh, tell us, Jamie, what did you think was fun about working with this quilt? Well, I really like this quilt for many reasons. One, it went together much faster and it looks more complicated than really truly what it is. Um, and then as we started playing with the colors and the way you could lay it out, the almost dimension that you get to this that you didn't see. And of course you could play with it with different colors. Um, Cause we actually, when you were playing with this, we, mm -hmm. uh, as we like to say, audition, try it out, different, yeah. different colors for this teal, everything from red to mm -hmm. pink. Uh, I mean, coral -ish yes. and greens. It can and go a lot of ways. We, we went this cause it's just kind of, I guess we were looking for something that was unexpected. You know, mm -hmm. you think of red a lot with black. Yes. So something a little bit yes. different, but it turned out um, really cute. And I, I don't know if you noticed the edge, how it is that's included in the pattern. Don't do it that way. But if you didn't want to do that kind of, um, finishing, you could Couldn't. just straighten it. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The great quilt went together super fast, a great pattern, very well written. Yes. And we've gotten some other patterns from Krista too. Now this particular kit. So now tonight, um, what we've got, uh, what we're going to be showing you, we'll tell you what the SKU number is. There's a couple of different ways you can find it on our website. You can go to henandchickstudio.com. And of course, Jamie is going to try in between uh, to post things. But we've tried to make it easier for you that if you go to shop and then scroll down to shop uh, to happy hour, I think is what it says, happy hour, we're trying to tag any of the products that we're talking about in that area. But I also will tell you a SKU number, and this is 10102. The price is $86.95. That does include um, the pattern in it as well. We do have some kits that include the pattern and some that do not. So be sure to read the copy as to whether you're, you know, if we will try to say whether it's included or not, but be sure to um, check out, read the instructions as to what uh, the product description so that you know if you need to buy the, the pattern separately. Most of our kits, I think all of them, I think almost all of them include binding. We have some table runners that include backing, but most often we do not include the backing in the kit. All right, so that is our first quilt. We wanted to show that because we kind of uh, talked about that one last month and we knew that you would love to see that. So one of the things that we want to showcase tonight um, with the weather getting beautiful, and you know, I know uh, we're, I think people are feeling more optimistic about going out. We're cautiously going out, maybe not into large groups yet, but I think the more people get vaccinated and the more um, the rates come down for COVID, I believe people are starting to feel more comfortable. And so that sometimes means a little less time in our sewing room, but oh, we so need that quilting time and that creative time. So we chose to really highlight some of our panel um, panels that we sell and some of the projects that you can do with panels because they look fantastic. You can do them, do them in an evening. So let that thunderstorm roll in. You'll be good for the evening or the day, whatever that is. But you can maybe make some um, smaller projects that still look great, um, can be given as gifts, maybe not as much time involved in them. And uh, anyway, they, they're wonderful. So we've got a whole slew of projects to show you. And we are going to just, uh, we'll be in and out here as we do that. Let's save that one. Let's start with this and then we'll, yes. Um, okay, so again, uh, this is something that I believe uh, we've shown, uh, but, but we do not have this panel sold separately. This is um, Love Never Fails. I'm gonna just move that over a little bit and you can hold that. There we go. So I'm trying to show the majority of the quilt. Of course, you can go to our website and click on SKU 10103, Love Never Fails. And the panel um, is in the middle. And then you have some simple piecing to do on um, the, the outside. It's just a very good looking quilt. Uh, could easily work as a lap quilt or as a wall hanging. Um, everything comes in the kit that you need. It's 52 inches by 58 inches, and the kit price is 
that includes fabric for the top, the binding, and the pattern. So it is uh, just some really pretty fresh spring colors and a uh, little practice there. Uh, this one, we just don't happen to have any of these panels to sell separately. So the only way you can get that, the Love Never Fails kit is uh, via Facebook. Oh, did I just say Facebook? Via our <laughs> website. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, all right, let's. Go down, I'm gonna grab that pile. Yeah, one of those two piles. Okay. We've got all the quilts over on the side here because there's so many that we wanna show you. All right, the projects that I'm gonna show you next use a couple of our favorite piece tree patterns. And um, piece tree patterns, we've focused on, featured them before. Shelly Robson up in Forest City, Iowa is just a great designer. All of the piece tree patterns are $3.50. Uh, again, uh, I, some of these include, include them in the um, kit, but I think on the panels, we decided not to, because once you own this you know, pattern, you don't need to keep buying it. And I think you're gonna see tonight that we've done several pieces that you might need, several fabric kits to go with the pattern. So Goose Chase panel is the first um, pattern that I've got. And that one, um, it can finish about 39 and a half by 42 and a half. And keep in mind that if your panel um, is wider or narrower, you can adjust that with some of these patterns. And that's what's great about them. But this one helps make a panel wider. So the first quilt I'm gonna show you using Goose Chase is um, this panel from Quilt, it's called Quilt Barn and it is a great uh, kind of folksy uh, panel with some great chickens on it, barns, and uh, it featured, one of the fabrics featured sunflowers, so we've got those included as well, and I just, yeah, can you see it there good? And then I just have to turn it over and see if you can see the beautiful uh, chicken wire fence quilting that Stephanie did on it. I think that is just a real highlight, right? But um, so this one, this kit, let's see, Jamie, can you help me with price? I'm it is $35.95. $35.95. That includes the top, the fabric for the top and the binding. Yep. Not backing, is not included. Back, is backing and pattern are not included. Okay, so that's Goose Chase. All right, then we've got another one of our favorites. It's called Panel Magic. We've made this so many different times over the years that I think it, it looks so different every single time. And the first one, can you see behind me over here in the corner, this pink flamingo? That is um, SKU 8790 and it's $32.95 and that kit, um, features the pink flamingo. It's so fun. Somebody recently posted on our creative community that they took the kit and then they made it even bigger. And it was so awesome. It was the great, it was a great centerpiece. So that is one using um, uh, panel magic. Okay. Then the second one I'm going to show you, it features a quilt barn pe panel again, that sort of was uh, along the lines of the, the last one I just showed as far as coloration goes, but this one doesn't have blocks. Instead, it has the welcome uh, logo or banner at the top and would make a great uh, wall hanging in the entry of your home. And of course, you got to love the fact that there's a green tractor. I'm sorry, all you red tractor people. We do have a tractor fabric with red tractors on it, but they happen to put a green tractor um, does anybody else just drive green tractors besides me? My first one was a John Deere 420. That's a that's a wide front 1956 model for any of those men that are watching well, or women, because obviously I know what it is. And isn't this super sweet? Um, doesn't take a lot of time to make it though, mm -hmm. Jamie, does it? No, and Heidi, I would tell them that it is so new that we didn't even get the picture on the website. So they need to pay attention oh, right now to what it we looks not? like. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, as I was going to say, we've been trying to get all of them photographed and on. So isn't that sweet? And the kit for this, the SKU is 
Tell me what that one is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's $35.95. $35.95 for the price. And the link is in the comments. If they okay, so you've, she's got the link. Um, so okay. She'll come up with that one. She'll come up with that. And if you've got questions, you're more than welcome to ask. Again, Jamie is and I are, we're, we're soloing this tonight. I feel like we're soloing it. We don't have Goldie in Virginia. We don't have Kelly. They've left us alone all by ourselves. Um, and, uh, but if we don't get to your comment, uh, of course, while we're live, we'll of course be going back and, and looking and trying to. But again, uh, this is another panel that recently came in with the collection called uh, wor words to quilt by. And there's so many different things that you could do with this particular panel. We chose to not cut it up and instead to make a wall hanging out of it with the um, panel magic, uh, just two other fabrics. And I do think it just looks super sweet. Um, and of course, great sayings for quilters. What a wonderful gift to give your quilting friends. Uh, or to hang in your own sewing room, uh, to be inspired by it daily. And we still have several pieces in this collection. I, weren't there only two panels left of this? So if you mm -hmm. wanted only- two or three of just the panel. Everything of just the panel. So if you wanted just the panel, we've only got a couple um, left. But otherwise, uh, there are several coordinates that go with it. So say you said, I want to, um, you know, highlight a different color instead of yellow. We do um, have some of the other pieces there, but in the kit, they are all yellow. So that is panel magic. We love that. Okay, then. Heidi, there was a question on that quilt barn one. The one at the chicken barn in Woodmill, was that a panel? Yes, that was yes. a panel and it is only available in the kit. Now. This, and we're talking about this one? Yep. With, yes, this guy. This guy right here, only that panel is only available in the kit. Only available in the kit. If they want to see how close, I, I have put the picture of the panel back on if they want to see what the panel itself looks okay. like. Okay, very good. So they can go, you can follow along in the comments and Jamie is posting some links in there for you to find those. All right, so I'm gonna move that over and I'm gonna grab this, yes, these two, right? Yep, okay. I think you're all going to love this next one. So the words to live by, words to quilt by and live by, um, that collection was very, uh, very, very pretty. It actually came with two panels. Um, this will, is going to be the second one. And we chose this time a piece tree pattern called Twisted Panel, which is the same one. It's the same one we used for the, no, 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 it's not. I'm going to get myself mixed up. We use the goose chase for the last one. This is twisted panel. And it is um, just a sweet, sweet pattern. All right. And here is what I got to give credit to Jamie. She's been busy sewing all of these. Check that out. Is that not adorable? I just think it is so fun. Again, um, this panel would be a little harder to cut up. It really is intended to be. Um, one that is uh, that used as a whole panel and uh, just the simple uh, twisted blocks on the side, I just think gives it that super extra flair and it's really wonderful. And you got to see again, if I can show you, uh, Stephanie quilted needles and thread into it. So it is a wonderful, but just a great panel. And um, if you can't see the gray fabric, let me walk up here a little bit. The gray fabric um, has words in it, and they're all different um, words about quilting um, in that. So that it's available in white and gray. Yeah, and the words are available in white and gray. The kit is only available in the gray at the moment. Okay, that kit is this one that I'm showing is one zero one eight seven, and the price is thirty nine ninety five. Now again. If you go onto our search, um, open up the website, henandchickstudio.com, go into the search field. And if you typed in 10187, this was gonna come up and show up. You won't see that number actually on the website. Uh, they don't, for whatever reason, that number doesn't appear, but that's our internal SKU and it will take you right, so any, right there. So anytime we tell you that SKU number, 
uh, you know, you can write it down. Now, if you're wondering, how am I supposed to be shopping and watching this at the same time? Of course, you don't have to. You could just be making a shopping list and you could go back later and check all that out. Or if you're um, talented, you can have two screens going, one with the Facebook on it and one with the website on it. So you can go back and forth and be putting things in your cart as you're going. And so uh, we don't, uh, if you make a comment in the comments like, oh, I love that, I want one. We don't um, sell that way. You do have to go back to the website and purchase it. Uh, do remember that, like, say you put something in your cart right now. Say you're like, oh, I absolutely love this. And you wait three days before you place your order. It's possible that that could be gone and it might look like it's still in your, in your cart. Now we do know that um, we've, we've heard that they are updating that and you might get a message that says that it's no longer available, but every once in a while something will slip through that it maybe has been sitting in the cart. So one thing you can be assured of is that if you're shopping tonight and you're saying, oh, I want this and I want that, um, if you place more than one order this evening or before tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, we're gonna combine those all into one shipping and we will not charge you multiple shipping. We would just take that off um, before we, you know, before we do the final charge. So just let you know, you could be doing that if you want. All right. Um, all right, the next one, um, this one is going to get quilted, but at the moment it's not. It's called Backyard Happenings, and it's a very sweet panel uh, from Gail Pan, and uh, she's an Australian designer. The fabric is from Henry Glass, I believe. I think it's Henry Glass. And it, it, this one is also using the twisted, yeah. twisted panel kit, and so it's the SKU number on this is 10188 and it's 3995 and it does include a really cute blue uh, binding that coordinates with it. That's just like fresh off the press this morning. It, that's right, fresh off the press. Would you, did you even sleep last night, Jamie, or did you? I did, I just got up. You got up early this morning and finished it. So see, she's always just busy, busy quilting. All right, so we've got backyard happenings. That's the twisted panel. All right, and I go to the, uh, let's see, I panel wise, am I, oh, I wanna do this one. I'll grab this side, so yeah. That one, and then I'll go to that, okay. Okay, we couldn't take this one off the wall uh, because it's way up high and we don't, I don't have the ladder out tonight. It's called um, Blessings, Slideshow Blessings. And let me come up here and show you the fabric. Um, it is a super sweet fabric um, that we've got. And um, we use the slideshow pattern by Terry Atkinson. And what I love about her slideshow pattern is that um, you can cut the panels up and put them back in. So here's, here's what her panel, um, her quilt pattern looks like. And that's how we did it with these fabrics. So the photos looks a little bit faded, um, but you can see by the um, fabrics that it's just really sweet and has some fun words in it, nice sentiments. And of course you can see that all on our website. And so we're, we're always looking for ways to use panels because we're seeing more and more. And one of the phrases that somebody once told me was that, um, that we should call them convenience panels because they are, they're just a convenience. They give us something more than what we could do, I'll say on our own. I mean, there's no way that I could create a block with all these words in it and lettering, but to be able to create a quilt with it in is super nice. And I, I love to be able to, that we're able to do that. Okay. So when we're talking about panels and just knowing that there's there's only so many hours in a day. And a good friend of mine once said that we can probably afford to give away quilts to, you know, anybody 
from a dollar amount. I and mean, at some point they get expensive, but we, you know, we can, but it's really comes down to time. The time becomes more of an issue than the money because you get into some of these big, beautiful quilts and we're spending hours and hours. I mean, you've seen me, I'm still working on my quilt from 1995. And uh, in one volleyball tournament, I'm getting one leaf done, uh, you know, as an applicant to be able to afford, afford to give that away is is really hard and most people when they're receiving a gift are just so thrilled or tickled that you've thought of them so being able like some of these panel quilts convenience quilts are wonderful because you can give something that looks really nice and usable but you haven't spent years working on a project instead it's hours Maybe a weekend if you're, you know, really, you know, taking your time and doing a load of laundry in between and all that kind of stuff. At least it's a weekend. That makes a huge difference in how you approach giving quilts away. So we're always looking for patterns. I'm going to show these two. These aren't new, uh, aren't new, but I'm just going to show you. But we're always looking for patterns and books that that speak to that. Um, how you know? How do we get it? You know, them done. And this book. Uh, is called um, Project Parade, also from Peace Tree Patterns. It, it, so it's from that same company that's doing all the $3.50 um, $3 cards. This book is $18, but it has multiple projects in it, including this project, which, which is called Panel Parade. And you can just see in the black and white gray version that there's a spot in the middle. You know, we've even looked at that and said, um, and I think this is true with any of the panel projects that we're showing you. If you used a big, bold piece of fabric that you could also use these um, patterns for that. You know, those, there's some that when you get a big, bold piece of fabric, um, I was going to look and see if I saw one real handy. Oh, very good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, like for example, you know, cutting this up into a two inch square, you're going to lose the whole motif. So being able to put this in the center where a panel would go um, is, is a great way to use a pattern, okay? So some other patterns we've had are angled up. Okay, so that one's by the um, Jill Boyd, the quilt chef. And this, you can make it into a throw size or a youth size. The throw size finishes at 62 by 80 and the... Um, Youth size is like 44 by 62. Love these panels. We've had this as a store sample before. And this is by Cozy Quilt Designs. And again, um, by adding different things on the outside, you can increase it to a throw, 64 by 74, a long throw, 64 by 79, or a full size of 74 by 79. But it's a great looking pattern. Great looking pattern. This is a brand new one for us from Mountain... Uh, Mountain Peak Creations called Flight North. And this finishes at 53 and a half by 69 and a half. And again, just a really nice looking, um, nice looking pattern that you could use. Now, another panel um, project that we have is called Message Board. And we realized tonight that our message board patterns were all gone because it's such a popular pattern. But I thought I'd show you two quilts we made uh, last holiday season. Uh, using the, oh, do we only have one? Maybe we only got one of them down. Nope, the other one's in the corner. I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. And here it is. This is one of them. And isn't that nice how it just really lets the panel be highlighted in the middle? Just a great, okay. And, oh, there he is. He was hiding. This guy doesn't want to melt. It's warm enough today that a snowman would melt and we don't want any melting going on. So here is our second version of that same pattern. The biggest difference is that this one, the one I'm holding uses three, four fabrics. And this one only used two. Now, now, I have, now I have it upside down, <laughs> now I have it upside down. But you understand, so that's uh, one of the way the patterns is written so that that only uses two colors 
as the accent and the other one used for. So if you're trying to get a jump on Christmas and Christmas gifts and things to give away, great opportunity. Um, those kits are ready to go. We won't see, well, I, we normally see our Christmas fabrics come in May and June, but I'm all bets off this year as to when we'll see our Christmas fabrics come because uh, nothing is coming when it's supposed to be. So um, no bets on when we're gonna see next year's Christmas collections. Uh, Gail's asking, is binding usually included in the panel kit? Absolutely. Binding is clued, included, I would say, 100% of our kits. At the moment, I could not tell you. If it, is a, if it is a quilt kit, I always like to think that the binding, most, most people are going to want to have it coordinate with the top. So the tops, um, you, know, you have all the fabric for the top and the binding. The backing fabric is what is normally not included. Those are ones that we... Um, it would be a special thing. And sometimes on table runners, we do. And we've got a couple of those tonight, but um, we would tell you, um, especially in the description. Okay. All right. Now, I think we're going to go to, um, you want to talk a little bit about, uh, oh, yeah. all right, I'm going to let you do that for a second. All right. Well, we have had a lot of requests lately for our people in looking for I Spy Quilt Fabric. And a few years back, Heidi put together a bundle of fabrics. And so we decided to recreate and we're gonna actually pull in. And so we're gonna see if we can get this in a spot that you can see. And we're gonna show you, we actually have two different packages of them. So we have two ice by and they're 10 inch blocks in each one. Each package contains 21. So here's one of them, I'm gonna take them out. Don't worry about it. Each package contains 21 10 inch blocks, which would make 42 if you can add, correct? That's right. Which would make a complete cake. So if you were wanting to do a quick ice by quilt, you could do one, you could do uh, the other one, you could buy them both together. You can sew them together as 10 inch squares. You can cut them up however you want. All those creative opportunities for you. But we're gonna take them out and just show you a real quick, kind of go through some of them. Uh, and we have two. One is I Spy Soft. It's I, like the capital letter I, Spy Soft. And it's Q10180. And I'm just going to kind of start draping some of the fabrics up here. We know last time we had a lot of people really liking seeing the draping. And we have some cute little foxes. Yeah. And if somebody is not familiar with what an I Spy oh, quilt yeah. is, you know, it's like an old game. I'm going to call it that, where you say to the child, I spy hearts. And then the child is, is encouraged to find the fabric that has hearts in it. Or I spy chickens. I spy a white chicken. I spy a pink chicken. Right. I spy a pink heart. And so the, the whole purpose of the fabrics that we've chosen, and as Jamie said, cut them to 10 inch squares, is that we try to get it so you'd have something to say, carrots, feathers, you know, that there's sort of a method to the madness of what we put in bicycles. bicycles. Now you could do something as simple as just sew the 10 inch squares together. Not even, yeah, not, I, we like the ice cream cones, not even, um, not even cut them up. But we also know that some people like to fussy cut or put them in a specific pattern. So, um, Again, we've tried to give you the option of being able to use them some way. Now, an I Spy quilt could repeat the block. So say, for example, you could cut the 10 inch square into five, four, five inch squares and be able to, you know, have quite a few blocks. Now, here's one of our newer fabrics, but we couldn't resist putting that one in. Isn't that cute? Those are dogs. I see dachshunds and corgis. And I hope corgis kind of flipping through these fabrics that you start to get the idea. If you aren't familiar with those I Spy books, um, they're very popular. Even of all ages, they can get very complicated, but it could be a lot of fun, a fun project for you, fun gift to make, backpacks. And this is all, now this one you, is kind of hard to see, but we, I love this fabric. It has little squirrels, foxes, and bunnies in it. So that would be a little bit harder one to see. So all those ones I just showed you are from the I Spy Soft 
Well, Jamie is switching to the next one. You know, if you like what you're seeing tonight, we love having so many people watching live with us. Please, um, you know, help us spread the word. Uh, you can share the post um, to your Facebook page and encourage your quilting friends to join in. We would love to have you uh, uh, tell, um, tell more people about Head and Chick Studio in Conrad. Yes, share it with a friend right now and share it with your quilting friends or your a quilt group you're in. And so we're going through these. I'm going to just kind of go real quick and you can start to see all the different patterns. Hopefully you can, and maybe some of them you can even laugh at as we show the food trucks with the crabs. Um, and this, some of them are from more, uh, some very brand new collections that we have. Here's some bugs, some little houses. Of course, we tried to throw in lots of different things. Again, there's 21 in each of these bundles. So then you could make your own cake with them. And here Heidi talked about, did anybody say, I didn't see anybody say anything about red or green tractors, but in this we have the red tractors. We did not include the green. This is a really cute ketchup, mustard, corn. Barbecue. Football. And for the state of Iowa, our fans, you know, we know we have people watching from Florida, Minnesota, Nebraska. Um, Nebraska fan, if you may not like either of these next two that I'm going to show, but we have the Iowa and Iowa State, but it also has the Christmas tree and stars and plaid, some camping, all sorts of things, cute little pigs. And earlier, I might you might have noticed this was a math one. We have recently got in the science one that goes with it, complements it. And our last one was, is I love a dog. And Jamie, most of these fabrics are still available in yardage. Is that correct? I think most of them. Most of there all, are a few. There are a few that we, by the time we got done cutting the kits for this, um, they are gone. But say, for example, you liked the science fabric. We that's brand new. We still have that on the bolt. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's something in particular like that that you're looking for. Uh, we may have um, more of any of these novelty prints. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's funny is, don't you think too, that we don't even, I don't think of our store as having a lot of novelties, but boy, when we start pulling them out, we had, we had to choose. Yeah, we could have kept going. It was a lot of fun for sure. But I'm going to slide those to the side here. And if you are creating an I Spy quilt, would you consider sharing a picture in our creative community? Um, if you aren't a part of that creative community, it's on Hen and Chick Studio. It's like Hen and Chick Studio is the store you come in. Now, to be a more part of it, go into our creative community. That's a group that you join. It's a group. It's not a page. So you can ask to join that group. But if you are creating an ice bike quilt or have created one in the past, would you consider sharing it with us? And Miriam, a regular customer and friend of ours, she says that her children love their I Spy quilts because she puts cuddle on the back. Oh, yeah. And they say, we have a play side and a sleepy side. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Uh, we is... agree with that. Absolutely. We agree with that. But I'm going to pull this in because, you know, we talk a lot about fabric and sewing and stuff. But I don't know about you, but last night when I was cutting, I really needed to replace or change my rotary cutter. Do any of you cut and you get that little nick and then you're having to go back over it or you just start pulling it? Anybody know what I mean? I think there's not probably some people out there. You know what a difference, a nice sharp blade works. Why do we wait until we have problems to change our blades? So we came up with a few things that as you're thinking tonight, you might think that it might be time to replace. And we have learned recently, even about needles, how often we should be replacing those needles and such. So what about, do you need a uh, rotary blade replacement? I do, don't know about you. Um, how about your pins? And this is one of Heidi's uh, favorite products and it's the patchwork pins that are fine. They act, work wonderful for piecing. If you haven't used these fine pins before, makes your piecing go really well together. Also, there's a seam ripper. Now, in case you make mistakes, which you probably never do and you never need one, but a nice, sharp seam ripper makes it go so much faster when you have to seam rip out a seam. Absolutely. And you know what? A Deb was in here this morning. Mm -hmm. And because of the creative community, mm -hmm. oh yes, because of the creative community, uh, we're playing bingo at the moment. And one of my bingo calls the other day was tell us your favorite tool. And they started talking about seam rippers. 
and the comment came up that you should replace your seam ripper once a year because it does get dull. And for the price of it, it's sort of like the same thing as yeah. a needle in the sewing machine. When you think about the cost of a needle in your sewing machine and how it can make such a difference in how you piece your quilt, the same thing is true because this is $8.50. So if you're thinking your seam ripper isn't doing its job like you think it or it used to do, it's probably because well, it just needs like to be replaced. Rotary blades. Yes. I mean, yes. how many times even here are we like, oh, these are bad. Yes. And, but then we Absolutely. replace it and it's Absolutely. So good. And Heidi was just talking about now a few weeks ago. What was it? January. January. End of January. Well, I guess it's more than a few weeks ago. We had the um, Smats Needle class. And if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. But we do still have those bundles available. And Heidi, can you remember how often, we've heard it all over the place, how often you should change your sewing needles. Well, I can't remember what her exact. You know what? And I'm going to get a little foggy on this, but it seems to me that it was every day. It, it was like more it was frequent more, than probably right. Because I think somebody I said, did. I think somebody said eight hours, and I don't think she even. I think it was even more often than that. Mm -hmm. Just and being able to know how hard you're using it and that kind of thing. So and so we here we have the long arm machine and we change it every day. So um, as somebody told us, it's what a thirty cent item. Yes, it's save right. yourself. I mean, make your life easier when you're sewing. It, you know when it's a bad needle, right? So why not keep a good needle on hand all the time? That's right. So you don't have to get frustrated. So we're, we thought a few things. And then the other couple things, again, you may not think about it until you need it at 1230 in the morning or something like that. Do you have enough thread? And we carry two different threads here. Um, and Heidi just got in some new threads, new thread colors in our Aurifil. Yes, ones. lots of new colors. And both of these are excellent. We have the Guterman and we have the Aurifil. Lots of different colors, more colors in this one now, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. And we've we've got grays, browns, blues, golds. Some kind of the mauve colors yes. are new. There's We're trying like to really make sure we've one. got a bunch. Um, and then these cute little, you know, too bad it's past the Easter bunny for the Easter basket time, but we do, we just got in some of the little box sets of them. And so like this one is the Milan gray and it comes with the three different shades of gray in there. So we do have some of those products available on the website too, as you're shopping around and thinking about, it's fun to get fabric and it's fun to sew, but you don't think about the, the things that you sometimes right. need. And, and somebody asked that this is $8, the seam ripper, $8.50. It comes in both teal and in pink. I believe the image is missing on the teal, so you might not see, but it's a really pretty teal. And um, okay. one of our, our regular uh, followers, I love Gail, that you said that your seam ripper has too many memories <laughs> and you can't part, maybe part with it. Oh, here's the pretty teal one too. So it comes in the teal and the pink. So you can get it in both of those colors. Oh, it's such great products um, that, again, some of those basics. And just remember that even our DMC floss is all online. So when you're placing an order and you just need to, you know, add one more um, item uh, to that or because you're something you're missing, it's a great way to, uh, to do that. So that is awesome. So, Jamie, I think we're going to move to these quilts. Okay. And, uh, again, hot off the press. It's not even quilted yet. Let me get it open here. It's called Liberty Smile. Check this out. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get it, trying to get it open without getting it caught on the. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Are we getting it? Starting to see it. You might have to straighten it out from the front uh, yep. for me because I can't quite get the so they can see there that. And can you tell them what size it is and all that? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is one of our new, like she said, she literally picked this one up and brought it back. So it finishes 70 by 70, Liberty Smile. And you can see it right there. The price is $96. The SKU is 10106. And I have put a link to that in the comments as well. My wingspan is 72 inches. So there you go. It's almost, <laughs> it's as tall as an, and wide as me either. But it's going to be a beautiful um, patriotic. Okay. Not to worry, no one is getting hurt <laughs> off the side of the stage. I just hit the hit the board. We'll move that so I don't. And I think it's going to be a great, great quilt. Um, fun fabrics. It's got little fireworks in it, and that is a great quilt. So that'll be getting quilted, and you'll get to see that. I'm sure I'll quilt it later. 
Now, again, last time we showed you this incredible uh, scrap happy, um, and I we actually took it out and we showed you all the pieces. I'm not going to do that tonight um, since it's all bundled, but we were telling you that we were going to make a beautiful quilt with it. The quilt is out of the book Labor of Love by Shelly McConnell. And the quilt is called Sunshine. And again, here you go, brand new store sample hasn't even been up in the store. Check this beauty out. It is gorgeous. There we go. We love um, how the, um, I just think the colors sparkle on there. This fabric collection is from Henry Glass Scrap Happy by Janet uh, Nesbitt of One Sister Design. And I think it pretty much uses all of them. There's purple, blues, browns, reds, greens, several different shades, uh, teal. But we just love how this quilt looks. We love the pattern. And uh, what is the SKU number on that? Oh, you're gonna show? So you can see some of it up closer. The SKU number is 10013 and the link is in the comments, but I was gonna grab, this is the border print that kind of combines all the colors in. Yeah. And so there is, this is a multimedia or mixed media, mixed media I think is what piece. it's called. There's some other colors in this and go search scrap happy would be the easiest yep. way to get all these yep. fabrics. Yep, you're gonna find it all in scrap happy. But boy, isn't that just a great and stunning quilt. So that is wonderful. Okay, now. And Heidi, somebody asked, Jackie asked, um, does that have paper piecing? And I think, I'm not sure which one she was replying, referring to, but nothing tonight that we have done has paper piecing. No, we have not done any paper piecing tonight. Okay, so um, the next thing on Thursday. So you know we're liking to do these Facebook Live events. And we're calling them, we're putting them all under the umbrella of Hen House happy hour, because it is a happy hour when we get to show you fun stuff and show you quilts. And so we love that. Well, we, we, we call this product showcase. Well, we're also doing a whole series of what we're calling connections. We've already referenced that we did a needle class. Then we did stripology with, um, oh, sorry, we did a perfect quarter inch seams with Celine Perkins from Perkin Dry, Perkins Dry Goods. Boy, did we learn some stuff in that class too. And then we did a stripology with Gundren Erla of GE Designs. And again, learned so much about all the different things. Well, in the month of April, and it's this Thursday, the 8th at 10 a.m., we're doing 10 tips for finishing your table runners with Terry Atkinson. You all know, well, you should know that my favorite table runner book is Let's Do Lunch from Terry. And I always like her patterns because I think she writes them well. She tests them. I feel confident that when you walk out of the store with one of her patterns, that you're going to get what she promised. And it's just wonderful. She does a great job of multiple sizes. So loved inviting her. You know, she was actually here at our open house um, at our grand opening almost 10 years ago. So it's fun to have her doing this at least virtually. And I know we've already had requests if she was gonna be in person and we'll try to get her in person when that uh, time is appropriate. So, but without further ado, we're giving you a sneak peek tonight of what we're unveiling for um, Thursday's class about table runners. Now, one of the things that if you've signed up for tonight um, via the website, it's all free. This, all these events are free. But if you sign up on our website, then you got an email from us reminding you when the class is or when this event is with a couple um, bits of insider information. That that is going to be true with each of the events. And um, on Thursday, there will be a bundle that will be a sales special um, for the class, a class bundle like we've been doing. Um, and it will involve uh, some patterns, the four patterns that we're gonna be featuring. There will not be a discount on any of the kits you're seeing tonight. So if that is your deciding factor, like you really like the kit and you don't wanna risk not getting the kit of fabric, none of those table runner patterns are going to be, none of the patterns are in the kit. Does that make sense? 
We're, because it's a bundle, we're selling the patterns separately. So no kits in any of these, but backing fabric is going to be yes. several of them. Yes. So, okay. So let's start with this one since we've got that. Okay. So I hope everybody's following along. So if you have not signed up for Thursday's class and want to do that between now and, you know, probably Wednesday night, get yourself signed up. So you get that reminder email with the insider information um, in the, the, in the email. Now, of course it's on Facebook. And so we just want you to show up on our Facebook page at 10 o'clock um, on Thursday morning. Okay. So the first pattern that we're going to be featuring is desert stars or desert stars is when we, <laughs> you know, misread it, but it's desert stars. And we just think this is a stunning table runner. Uh, the pattern itself has a couple of different options. We chose a very neutral. Um, so the stars have multiple fabrics in them. Can we see those pretty good on there? Mm -hmm. To see the different fabrics or different creams. Um, and then, and then uh, we, the nice uh, coral, I kind of call it a corally color and green pieces. And then it also does include backing fabric. And that's your backing. Yep, and that's the backing fabric. And the skew on that is, one zero one seven six and it's twenty eight dollars and ninety five cents no pattern but backing is included okay so along that lines so now imagine this still this kit this pattern because we are not wonder women and we can't get everything done and we because we do sleep oh and here's the pattern i had it underneath there um we also have fabrics and a kit pulled for using the gratitude and grace um, fabrics, uh, which is our Kim deals. We know how much you guys love those. And uh, this one's gonna be great with some um, golds and greens in it. And the backing fabric is the brown. The red is the background. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great version. So that is another version of Desert Stars that we've got going on. So that's one of the patterns that will be in the bundle. And she will be talking about these and how to use them and giving you tips for the table runner. That's correct. She's going to be doing all sorts and talking about the different products and stuff. All right. The second pattern, you know, she had an anniversary recently. So she came out with mini brick road. Um, if you've been quilting for a while, the brick road um, pattern, yellow brick road pattern is a pattern that I think so many people know Terry for that. It is, it's just such a popular quilt. <laughs> and so now she came out with the mini brick road and it can be made into a table runner, a doll quilt or two placemats. And version number one for all you camping fans, look at this cute camping version of mini brick road. And I don't know, but I think the back that is the backing fabric you get included. Super fun. Love that. This one is one, the SKU number is 10185 and it's 2695. Again, the pattern will be sold separately and it will be in the bundle that we'll be offering on Thursday. Hi, I gotta jump in because yes. all of these campers out there, I don't know, I think a lot of our Friends have mentioned they take their sewing machine in the camper with them. Yes. You take a little kit like this along for that rainy oh, day yeah. when you can't get out of your camper. Oh, you can perfect. have it done perfect in the evening if you really get on it. So yes. super oh. cute. And I don't know if you mentioned Heidi, but all of the kits we're showing, they are limited. Like we are only have what we have. That's correct. That's so correct. Because we keep in, in, mind. in some cases we um uh are out of, I mean, we're out of some of the fabrics and that kind of thing. So that's why you're getting a sneak peek tonight. And so if there's something you really want with the fabric kits, you might want to uh, think about getting them ahead of the time on Thursday. Cause we've got uh, several hundred people signed up for Thursday at this point, And we, we're expecting a big crowd at class. Okay. So now mini brick road version number two, it, we're calling this one cityscape. And it has, look at this super colorful back, 
Very fun. This is SKU number 10184-2695. And Heidi, just a reminder that we don't do comments sold or anything like that. And so if you have any problems ordering anything, just give us a call. Absolutely. And we'll be more than happy. We've to even help had you. the phone ring during, I, although uh, we, haven't, we haven't had anybody call tonight, but we've had the phone ring during the, the show because somebody was so excited to get that um, project. And of course, we have an answer machine. So if for some reason you, you know, are watching this later, um, don't hesitate. Call mm -hmm. when you're thinking about it. Leave a message and we'll get back to you with the answer to your question. Okay, pattern number three. Oh, Janie, you come up and have, I know these are some of your favorites here. Mm -hmm. And this one. So let you show okay. that one for a minute. So let's play hearts. We actually showed this, gosh, I don't know, around Valentine's Day. We did this one. Um, actually, Kelly made one. I've made these other two that we're going to show tonight. Again, Heidi has mentioned it. We know it's getting nice outside and you may not want to, if you're like me, you'd rather be outside. Um, it, some of these embroidery type things that you can do take along with you, but those rainy days or the early mornings, or you just want to make uh, something little to keep your creative juices flowing. These kits, seriously, a couple hours in a night, use your stripology ruler to cut them out. That's my newest tip. Um, you'll feel good and it's fun. It's super fun to put it together. So let's play hearts. Uh, this one comes in a couple different ones that we've made up and I don't know, Heidi, which one I think I'll show the hearts, the yeah, hold that one. script heart. And first. we did a, we did a true Valentine's one, um, at, but we're out of kit. We're out yeah, of those out kits. Of that, so um, they went fast. Yep. And this one is, uh, there is lower numbers. I know in this one, but this is the let's play hearts script is what we're calling it because it, I, this was one of my favorite fabrics to use the postage stamp type things in there. Um, so cute. I love the coloring in it. Great for a shower gift. I think um, these, these kind of pinks and mauves and tans, this is a trendy decorating color right now, understated, but beautiful. And so this one is item 10181 and it does include the backing. Let me show you the backing because it's in there as well. And that's from the, that's from the rifle, paper rifle paper company. It's a really sweet um, fabric. On and the this back. it makes into a 14 by 38 table runner. So that one's really cute. Now this one, some of you are just going to chuckle at because this is our, our newest one. And we showed you a little bit of this fabric, but it's called Uptown Dog. And so for all you dog lovers out there, we took that dog fabric. And we used every piece of the line or almost every piece of the line and put them into and hearts. This one, yeah, and this one has dreaming of you. Let's curl up together. Faithful friend, doggy daydreamers. We love the words in that one. Just a fun, 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 cute little thing. And the back is included in this one, which is, and again, Stephanie does such a fun job with her quilting activities with the paws. So both of those are the Let's Play Hearts. Again, that will be talk. She's going to be talking about that. And I know several of you already have this table runner. I think sometimes what my I'm experiencing is when people see these pictures, they have a hard time visualizing that it could go into a different. So we have really tried on each of these patterns, and maybe you can kind of see it. We've tried to pick one that's maybe more traditional and one that's maybe more contemporary or fun. Um, on each of the patterns to show you that you can go a couple different ways with them. And we have a brand, brand new one that's yes. hot off the press it for is. the pattern, right? Yes, hot off the press, literally. And that is, uh, Terry has come out with a new table runner called Cha-Cha-Cha. And love that. Wait, every time I go, Cha-Cha-Cha. Okay. Um, and uh, this table runner is 14 and a half inches by 35 and a half inches. And again, um, even her examples on the back, they're sh she's showing them and they're so different. So we just got in the fun barbecue fabric, peace, love, and barbecue. And check out this fun version of Cha Cha Cha. The SKU number is 10178 and it is $28.95. And the backing fabric. <laughs> our cows and chickens. Um, and so we, we had a little fun with that as well. So this is Cha Cha Cha, which is the fourth pattern that will be in this special bundle on Thursday. And that will be announced first. Um, it will be announced first in that email if you've signed up for the class. And so uh, typically the bundle um, 
packages go quickly. Uh, we certainly saw that with Gundren, and then we had some shipping fun. But oh yeah, show the fabrics. Yeah, it's super fun. Again, we thought these fabrics would also be good if you watch the unboxing to combine with uh, Iowa or Iowa State because they have that black and gold or red and gold in them. Maybe Father's Day camping yes. apron. Yes. Oh, there could be so many different things. Well, I, I, this is, it's been so much fun and I can't believe that it's like right at eight o'clock, almost at eight o'clock. We've, we've got so many different things that are going on and we certainly have had a lot of fun. Do you want to grab um, Charisma Horton's mm -hmm. patterns real quick? One of the things that we're always trying to look for is new designers. Last month, we introduced you to Krista Mosier and that city girl um, Chevron that the fur very first quilt we showed tonight. We're always looking for designers that can help, I'll say, uh, take our quilting maybe in a new direction or up level it. And uh, I found uh, Charisma Horton uh, actually on the American Patchwork and Quilting Instagram one day. And I've, I'll say, uh, called her up and we ended up using some of her patterns in the Feathered Friends um, package that uh, went out in March. Charisma joined us for our Feathered Friends event that we do online for hens and roosters. And it was really fun to get to know her better and on a much more personal level. And I just think that her patterns are wonderful. She does a lot of very graphic um, types of patterns and like this one, Carousel. And we just got this one in called All In. Love that one as well. I think this could be very interesting in a lot of different, um, not necessarily contemporary fabrics. I think it can look, look different in other things. And Pinovations, we've talked about this one. We actually put together a bundle of fat quarters uh, with the wildflower fabrics. Uh, I think we showed that last mm -hmm. month. And that is a great pattern of hers. And then Starberry Jam is another one. And again, um, we've got some ideas of how we want to make uh, that into a store sample. Just like you, we run out of hours in the day. We have so many ideas. We're constantly trying to put everything together and we love being able to keep you inspired. So there's lots of ways. If you did not get the email, um, our mass email that went out on Sunday night, there is something going on every day this week. So tonight we had the Hen House Happy Hour product showcase and we're so glad you were here. Now, tomorrow at two o'clock is Take Home Tuesday. Jamie is the one who handles that. And if you were watching a few weeks ago, she challenged us, challenged me to let them go on the road or to take, take, um, take Home Tuesday out and about. Well, tomorrow, they're going out and about. So you might want to tune in at two o'clock tomorrow just to see where they're going. But I think it will be a lot of fun. Wednesday on the radio show, I'm going to be having Kelly join me. Um, our radio show airs live at 835 on 1230 KFJB.com. And uh, Kelly is a multi-talented staff member as well. Uh, she's always got things going outside of what's going on here, but she'll be joining me on Wednesday morning. Thursday, we have Terry Atkinson at 10 o'clock right here on Facebook Live. And Friday morning, we've got a panto class. So if that's something that, um, if you're uh, any one of our long arm certification class students and have taken that class, then you're eligible to take our panto class so you can learn how to use a pantograph on the long arm. And it's a great way to, again, add some inspiration and a little bit of different creativity into your long arming. So I don't know. And then the best thing about this week, if you haven't noticed, Wednesday is National No Housework Day. So I challenge you, and it's also supposed to be the rainiest day here this week. So I challenge you to find something inspirational from tonight and get it out into your sewing room and be creative on, um, on Wednesday and every day. Now, Jamie, is there anything as we're wrapping this up? My gosh, I think we've, I think we've actually gotten through all of the quilts we were wanting to show tonight. Um, we've got quilts made for next month already for fabric lines that are supposed to be coming in yet this month. So there's lots of exciting things going on. Uh, anything else we need to handle? I don't think so. All right. 
Well, we're so glad that you were able to join us this evening. And we hope that if you need any help, don't hesitate to give us a call. Our shop number is 641-366-3336. And of course, you can always email us at info at hiddenchickstudio.com or Heidi at HeidiKaizen.com. And any one of our staff members, including Goldie and Virginia, might be able to answer, answer your questions and help you. So everybody, have a great evening.